I love you, but I hate that stuff on your lips. I love you, but you care way too much about your family. I love you, but I do not like your friends. I love you, but you're needy and too sensitive. You're not very bright. Can you even do simple math? Do this math problem. Now, show me you're not dumb. God, you're stupid. You're so fucking stupid. Stop crying. I'm tough on you because I love you. One in three women have or will be in an abusive relationship in their lifetime. And that's just based off cases that have been reported. Most are not. I would know. I am one of them. I'm Katie Berg, and I was in an emotionally and physically abusive relationship. I left more times than I can count, disappointed my friends and family, did things I never thought I would do, and looked nothing like I do today. Nor did I think I would be sitting here telling the story, but here I am. After reconnecting with my mentor, Howie Samuelson, we decided I should share my story. He suggested I watch his interview with Linda Charles from the Earth Network. An almost 30-year-old interview brought back so many of my own memories. When someone is using you to inflate themselves, that's abusive because they're taking away your inalienable right to feel good about yourself. Linda was also in an abusive relationship, but worse, an abusive marriage. And they had kids together, making it that much harder to leave. Escape was impossible. She had promised to love, honor, and obey. She was his wife, for better or for worse, forever. She knew nothing to do but pray to be a better wife so that she wouldn't deserve his beatings. Every story is different. But the abuse remains the same, and the victims all lack one thing, confidence. It's going to be somebody with low self-esteem, because in my opinion, if you hang around for this second beating, you probably have no self-esteem. We need to talk about it and inform our children, because this isn't just a bad relationship. It's a life-changing experience. I realize this is something I'm not going to get over. It is a part of who I am. This is a part of who I am now. That's something that I have already experienced. But I believe I went through this for a reason. I have to. I believe I was meant to share my story with you and to encourage you to share your story with me. Because the more that we talk about it, the less it hides in the shadows and the more people we can save. So find yourself in a place where you feel comfortable and most importantly confident and tell me about your experience. Send your stories to me at undergroundnews.tv and join the conversation. And if you or anyone you know is experiencing any form of abuse, whether it be physical, sexual, or emotional, please contact these hotlines and check out the resources. They are there for a reason and they are there to help you. For undergroundnews.tv, I'm Katie Berg. According to a recent FBI investigation, a woman is beaten every 18 seconds. It is also a fact that abuse is a learned behavior that may be passed on from generation to generation. Children who witness family brutality will learn to express themselves through violence. If someone you care about is hurting you or hurting your family, take action today. Prevent your children from becoming the next generation of abusers and victims. Call 249-4450, please.